have you ever felt? Couldn't get a better view for a piss, huh, Chris? <laughs> feel like he's driving through bush. I mean, what is he doing? Oh. <laughs> it's not this one. He's going the completely wrong fucking way. Skytrek and uh, the other Willow Springs four-wheel drive track are closed. The turn off for Willow Springs is just a bit further, but here's a lookout. So we're going to go have a look at the lookout and see if maybe we can at least see in the distance the, the tracks that we could have done if they were open. Probably the steepest climb we've done all day. I'll be honest. <laughs> Couldn't get a better view for a piss, huh, Chris? <laughs> oh, well, this is cool. Hang on, so we came down from here. Yeah. So we're up here somewhere. Yeah. Okay. So that's us looking basically straight ahead, right? Anyway, so tomorrow we're going to leave. We were supposed to be here for three days, but we've decided that there's just not um, enough tracks here to keep us entertained for, for two more days. So we're going to head back out east and then come down south through the um, cattle stations and things like that. So just try to stick to the dirt as much as possible. And then we're going to try possibly keep along the Murray River and ride along that until we get into Victoria and then head down. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think we just worked ourselves up a bit too much um, and didn't probably research what Flinders Ranges was enough. Um, like I said, you know, we looked at the Hemmer maps on our phones and on paper, even the actual Hemmer maps and it shows tracks everywhere, but we come to find that the hiking tracks are only, or you can only take a bicycle on them now, emergency only vehicles, MVO only vehicles. Um, yeah, so anyway, a bit sad for us because, you know, we'd really hope to have been here for a few days and smash some really good hard tracks possibly. But um, anyway, it doesn't matter. We'll be heading off tomorrow. Bikes are running perfectly. I still haven't changed my tire, but I might do that. Um, tomorrow night. Turning off now, off the main road that goes up through the center of Flinders. And uh, where are we going? Junta by a mile as well. 232 kilometers. Yay. Dirt road, baby. Yeah. Well, 
this makes me happy. This, this makes me far happier than the tracks we were doing yesterday. 230 k's, dirt road, nothing around, proper outback. Yeah, this makes up for the shit show of our planning of yesterday. up to the T intersection and we're going to be going to Martin's well 21 more kilometers and that's the Flinders Rangers in the back over there looking pretty stunning pretty beautiful pretty beautiful I think we definitely have a smile back on our faces today. This is uh, what I always go on about, and even in my review of the WR250, what I always used to go on about. Oh, frick. Bloody spine breaker, that one. This is, this is what I like doing on this bike, this sort of, this just, you know, you feel remote right now. Two mountain ranges either side, dirt road, not knowing what's ahead of us, just choosing a track and, and riding. That's what I love to do on this bike. Let's see. There was a gate saying no public access, but the gate was open. And we have called ahead and asked if we can come through here, and they said yes. So... Yeah, there's not even a map. Not even on the map. We shouldn't be here. Google Maps can't be telling you to come here. Oh, that's a shame. It looked like a cool crossing. Another time. Another time. Another day. Another time. Yeah, go right. No, <laughs> like, it's double the distance to go all the way up and back down, or we just go across. All right. Adventure! Yes, this is good. I like these tracks. This is like, you know, tracks that people don't go on very often. Loving this. Uh, I mean, Chris can uh, decide soon if he wants to stay on this track or not. Well, it seems to be great so far. Just sitting here at 70, just punting along. This is a nice little shortcut and just adds to that feeling of riding a little more remote.
Oh, we're now in the thick of it. I don't even know where Chris has gone. <laughs> Just driving through bushes. Oh, we're on to a road. No, no, we're not. Just more desert, random road. Somewhere over there, right? We are here. Hey, so we're very close. But what's is that a road back up there I think? What? Up there. No, I think it's straight ahead over that way. That's like okay. Well, seems like he's found a truck. Let me see if I can uh, if I can find it. Not really sure how he got there. I just feel like he's driving through bush. I mean, what is he doing? It's not this one. He's going the completely wrong fucking way. Where are you going? We're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way. Yeah. You're going north. What? You're going north. What? You're heading north. This is hit the main road. No, it's not. That's it's back there. The road here. Look, but then where are you going? You're going up away from your Kunta. I think that's where it joins the road, isn't it? On Hammer, there's a track. That other road that was behind us that went straight across. But we can keep going up here. We're just going to go longer, but it's fine. Well, due to navigational, whoa, shit, I'm in somebody's fucking water supply here. Due to navigational differences, I'm using Emma, he's using Google Maps. We were so close to the end and now he's taken us fucking somewhere. Oh no, we can only follow the tracks. Well, that was ridiculous. Let's not do that again. Well, you should just listen to where I'm going. We're following this. Was look, where to go. look what you did, right? We were here, and you took us all the way up here and then all the way back here. When all we had to do was get to that point and go down. I can't see it. Okay, well. We just did twice as much as we did on that one little stint down to get back up onto the same main road. Well, you like adventure. Well, I, I think we should have just kept going on that track because now we have to do even more kilometers for, for no reason. There was a perfectly good flat road there that we could have gone down. To the same main road we were half an hour ago on. Adventure. Well, I think we're on Tea Tree Road now, and it's really one of my most favorite services. Corrugated service. Love corrugation. It's that constant vibration for hundreds of kilometers, which just makes me so excited about life. I'm already past the phase of trying to look for sections with less vibration. It just seems to be corrugation everywhere on this road. So I've now, now I've become one with the corrugation. And just letting it vibrate through myself and my body. Thinking of all those nuts and bolts I should have locked tight didn't and how many bolts I'm going to be missing at the end of this road. Love corrugations. I believe Australia has some of the finest.